to my channel if you're new here hey i'm kayla corn i'm so so glad to have you here and if you're new here make sure you go ahead and that subscribe button so you know every time i upload and ring that notification bell give this video a thumbs up in today's video i'm going to be telling you guys all about my surgery scars everything that you've probably seen in my last fashion nova video um i did wear crop tops for the very very first time and it was it was something let me tell you that it was crazy and um it was a challenge for me but luckily all of all of you amazing amazing people are telling me that you know like i look great it was worth it you were so inspired and that's all i ever wanted to do that's like literally why i started this channel that's why i'm here i'm here to help spread positivity and confidence as i find it myself Maybe we can grow together. So I'm going to be showing you guys each scar. Ugh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Not going to lie. I knew I was going to show my scars on this channel before. But I didn't think I was going to go in depth with how they came about. Or how I feel about them. Anything like that. So let before we get into the scar part of this video. I wanted to remind you guys that I am a bigger girl I am plus size that means I do have stretch marks and they are kind of fading but I mean they are there and if you don't like seeing loose skin or you don't like seeing stretch marks or you don't like seeing scars this video might not be for you so you might want to go watch a previous video <laughs> and uh yeah but if you are interested in seeing you know my battle scars and seeing what I've been through and if you want to see what gastric bypass scars look like definitely keep on watching your girl gonna need some tea for this if you guys like this mug that says boss lady on it it's a pretty cool mug um you can use my code unicorn for 15% off at rockstrewelry.com and get this mug I think it was only like 10 bucks cheaper I don't know I will leave all the information below but this mug is a shit and I am a boss lady and I'm sure you're a boss lady too so go grab yourself a mug let's start off with the scar that everyone seen in that video the scar that I'm most insecure about so let me scoot closer my face might be out of the frame but I just want you guys to know what like see it so this scar right here it's about I want to say like seven inches long I don't really know my measurements but this scar right here from right here right here is from my gallbladder removal so I don't know how much I weighed when I got my gallbladder out However, I do know that I did weigh a lot <laughs> and I ate really unhealthy. I was eating fast food every single day. So I got excruciating pains and was taken to the hospital. I hadn't eaten that much beforehand and I couldn't keep anything down. I was dry heaving at that point and they said I had a gallstone. And the gallstone was the size of a golf ball. So, the golf ball is about that big. And they were going to go ahead and transfer me to another hospital because I needed immediate surgery. And they did that. And I went to go try and get surgery. And what was going to happen was they were going to put a tethoscope. I don't really think that's the name for it. But um, it's this like long camera thing that goes down into your stomach. And they were going to try to break up the gallstones so that they could get the gallstones out. Because gallbladders nowadays, since, you know, technology has grown, you can get everything out laparoscopically. I'm probably saying that wrong, but laparoscopically. And that's what my, gall, um, my, gla my gastric bypass surgery was. And I had two options. They could try to break up the gallstone and get as much out as possible. Or they could go in and make a wider incision and get the gallstone out completely. And that would mean taking out my gallbladder so I had no, fil no further complications. So I chose number two. However, I didn't know that the scar was going to be that bad. And I'm kind of glad I did because I don't want, you know, problems later on in life. I don't think anyone does. But also with the scar came, do you see this dark scar right here? 
right here. This dark scar and this one right here is from, so this one and, and where did it go? That one are from the same surgery, like the gallbladder and these. Um, when you get your gallbladder re like removed the old way, which I did, they give you drainage tubes and those drainage tubes, uh, one drains bile and one drains the blood from the surgery. I had these drainage tubes for about two weeks, I want to say, maybe a month, and they were horrible, but it's a gallbladder surgery, and this is what I'm left with. Moving on to gastric bypass. If you are a gastric bypass patient or a sleeve patient, the surgeries are similar. They're completely different on the inside, but the scars are very similar. So. The scarring for gastric bypass back in the olden days was pretty much, you know, as bad as this gallbladder scar. But nowadays, because, you know, technology is so advanced and things are easier, the scars aren't that bad. They're really not that noticeable. The only thing that is really noticeable to me and other people, I think, is my gallbladder scar. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys those now. So with my gastric bypass scars, they're they're not bad at all. They're like nothing. He made four incisions, and yeah, I'm gonna show you guys them. So this scar right here is from my gastric bypass surgery. Um, this scar right here is from my gastric bypass surgery, and there is one on top of this gallbladder scar. I don't know if you can see it right here. And this is from the gastric bypass surgery as well. There's also one right here above my belly button. And yeah, and then there, the worst one that I had with gastric bypass that I thought would never ever heal was this one right here. This scar, let me tell you, this scar had me feeling like an indented indented tuna can <laughs> like someone took a can and smashed it that's the scar that i kept asking my surgeon like hey you said it was liposcopic you said it was gonna heal fast i look deformed what's going on <laughs> and thankfully now my scars are non-existent however um this scar sorry you're seeing my bra but this scar right here was a lot lighter but i did itch it Oops, <laughs> I did itch it, so yeah. It could have been lighter, but I worsened it, so yeah. On my gallbladder scar, I had a lot of scar tissue because the surgeon who did my gallbladder kind of botched me, and my gastric bypass surgeon went in and fixed a lot of my scar tissue so I wouldn't have this ugly keloid scar anymore so very very thankful for that i just want to thank you guys for watching this video and i want to thank you guys for letting me feel comfortable enough to show my scars with you guys because you will be seeing them in future post instagram posts videos try on hauls everything so i just kind of want to explain to you how they look gallbladder scars the old-fashioned way are the worst make sure you find a great surgeon if it's not immediate and you don't have a choice i would and find a good surgeon and um gastric bypass scars are kind of like slim to none like they're non-existent so don't be worried if you're trying to get the sleeve or the gastric pipe bypass bypass the gastric bypass um because the scarring isn't that bad i mean definitely there is scarring and there will always be scarring with every surgery but i think that Technology has evolved so much and doctors know what they're doing nowadays. You will have barely any scarring and that is key point. So for all you haters out there who are probably going to be like, Oh my god, your stomach's so ugly. Oh my god, you have stretch marks. Oh my god, you have scars. Yes, I do. I do, I do, I do. You ain't telling a lie. You're telling the truth. But I'm here to embrace it. I'm here to be body confident and I'm here to show other people that it's okay to have scars. It's okay to have loose skin and it's gonna happen. So you might as well embrace it because why not? Like these are my battle scars. I have been sliced open. I've had surgeries. I'll probably have future surgeries. But if you're really nervous about those scars, 
Girl, floss them. Girl, flex them. Put them on the ground. Your people, the people that love you, and the people who support you will not care what kind of scars you have. And this is like a message to myself as well because I do care what people think sometimes. And it does hurt. I'm human, you know? So here's to scars and here's to embracing beauty. And I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.